Good morning, friends. This is Ranganathan again with you. Uh, welcome to the first presentation in the new year 2023. Uh, let's start the presentation today with the best wishes for an excellent, healthy, wealthy, happy new year 2023 to all of you who are listening and also all the philatelists all over the world. We have been trying something new and this is a process in which even I have been learning and uh, you could have seen from the first presentation now, we have shown a lot of uh, improvements. Uh, we have collected a lot of uh, stamp data and also went into the details of why the stamp was released, all that. So like what the Japanese say, at every stage we need to improve and then what we have been doing was a Kaizen on philately. Thank you all very much for staying. Uh, wish you all all the very best. and Thank you all very much. Let's start the 48th presentation in the series of 50 teams in 50 weeks. Uh, to celebrate or commemorate the 70th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between Japan and India. Thank you all very much for joining me today. Now, today we are going to have the Heritage Series 1, which will talk about uh, the heritage, heritage sites in Japan, which are uh, accepted in the UNESCO as the World Heritage Sites. Now, very interestingly, uh, they got two series. The Series 1 was the first they started the Heritage Series. Then there is a Series 2, which was done in 2001. The 2001, they had 11 heritage, world heritage stamp sheets. That is under the uh, world heritage series two. The series one only had uh, one sheet stamps, about 10 stamps. So we'll talk about all of them today. And also the uh, there is also uh, four stamp booklets of uh, world heritage sites released by the United Nations. So that we will see uh, later. Thank you all very much. This, you know, the Daibutsu in Nara. It's a picture. Both the pictures were taken by me. Impressed with the Daibutsu in Nara. Uh, it's a great uh, thing for you to see such a gigantic uh, Buddha. Uh, the construction of this uh, temple itself is a big story. I don't want to get into that. But somebody is interested in what has happened, how the Nara temple was. Uh, thing. The only thing I just want to add... Uh, this uh, temple, when it is there, the eye of the Buddha has got to be opened. And the man who did was uh, Bodhidharma, who went from uh, India. Uh, they say Bodhidharma is from Kanjivaram, Chennai, and then uh, and Tamil Nadu. And uh, he went to Japan through uh, China. And in the presence of uh, emperor, this great job of opening the eye of the Buddha was done by Bodhidharma. That's a simple... Uh, information I want to give you on the Nara, uh, the Daibatsu. Okay. Now, Heritage Series, it's a window to the Japanese heritage through stamps is what we are doing. And uh, heritage is the valued objects and qualities such as cultural traditions, unspoiled countryside, and historic buildings and that have been passed down from previous generation, generation to generation. Some of these uh, stamps that I show you here are a uh, symbol of uh, the heritage uh, objects, or heritage subjects uh, that have been brought under the UNESCO heritage and uh, the cultural heritage, the physical objects. So I hope you will like this uh, presentation through the stamps. Now, this is the first World Heritage Series. Now, the first World Heritage Series was released in 1994, uh, December 14. After this, the second heritage series were released only in 2001. That time, there was um, uh, 11 stamp sheets, each sheet containing about 10 stamps. But this time, first world heritage series, maybe that's the first time Japan uh, Post itself is getting onto that uh, heritage series. They started with uh, 10 stamps. And uh, we'll see each of them. The stamps are of the same size, 28 by 39 millimeters, printed in multicolor 
and they're all commemorated stamps with the perforation of comb 13, printed photograph view and ordinary gum and paper, uh, phosphorescent paper. And the face value of the stamps was 80 and so. Now, the first stamp you see is the Himeji Castle. Um, Imagic Castle is a very famous castle. It's a very beautiful uh, castle. And uh, Himeji Castle is a hilltop castle complex situated in the city of Himeji, where it is located in the Hyogo Prefecture. Himeji Castle, castle dates to 1333 when Akamatsu Norimura built a fort on top of Himeyama Hill. The fort was dismantled and rebuilt as Himayama Castle in 1346 and then remolded into Himeji Castle two centuries later. Himeji Castle was then significantly remodeled in 1581 by, a, by one of the three unifiers of uh, Japan, Toyotomi Hideyoshi, who added a three-story castle keep. Castle keep is the tower. We call it as a castle keep. And in 1600, the next man who after came as another unifier and uh, Tokugawa Ieyasu, who is known for the uh, almost 250 years of isolation of Japan was during the Ieyasu period, which is called as the Edo period, was uh, awarded the castle to Ikeda Teremasa, Terumasa for his help in the Battle of Sekihara. And Ikeda completely rebuilt the castle from 1601 to 1609 expanding into a large complex. The castle frequently known as Akura-jo, uh, Chirasagi-jo, White Eagle Castle or White Aran Castle, because of its brilliant white exterior and supposed to resemble a bird taking flight. And the Himeji Castle is uh, very near the Himeji Shinkansen. You go in Shinkansen, get on at Himeji. And then it's a walkable distance from the station. From the station itself, you can see the magnificent view of uh, image. It's, it's a beautiful castle. And uh, then the second one in the first series, it's Kanon Bosatsu. Uh, Kanon is a Bodhisattva, Japanese Bosatsu. Bodhisattva is called as Bosatsu. One who achieves enlightenment but postponed Buddhahood until all can be saved. Earlier, also stamps on Kanon Bosatsu have been released. This is from a wall painting, the Kondo Golden Hall of Kanon Busatsu. The, the, the Bodhisattva's painting is uh, from that hall. And then the Kondo Hall Horyu Temple. The murals in the Kondo Horyu Temple are Buddhist paintings around the late 7th century, which are painted on the walls of Kondo of Horyuji Temple. Burnt in temple fire in 1949, the walls with the murals were damaged. And on January 26, the fire occurred, uh, became the uh, Bangazi Boko Day, Cultural Property Fire Prevention Day, which were reproduced in 1942, early Meiji period. After 1949 fire, again between 67 and 68, the murals were reproduced by top artists. It's a beautiful stamp, 110 yen. And then the top Bosatsu stamp is uh, uh, 80 yen stamp in the vertical format. And then the down below is a horizontal format. Uh, this is a very beautiful big stamp, uh, okay, which is uh, the top one is 45 by 30, uh, the 43 is uh, uh, the bottom stamp, so it's 110 Japanese ends. The top stamp is the same size as the one that we have shown earlier. And this is interesting. Uh, Yukushima Island cedar tree. So, can a cedar tree also become a cultural property? Yes. The Yomonzuki, the main attraction of Yukushima, is a giant cedar tree, which scientists estimate to be 2,000 to 7,200 years old. Said to be the oldest tree in Japan, it dates back to the Jomon period, uh, from which it gets the name. It is not only very tall, standing around 25 meters high. Yet it is massive trunk about five meters in diameter. This stamp was released in 1995, July 28, 28 by 39 millimeters, multicolor, and uh, printed again in photograph. The rest of the things are the same as the earlier thing. And then also the next one, uh, 
ヨクシマスティカ、or ヨクシマディア。ディアは subpc は the mainland deer。Okay? And the Yukushima deer are smaller than the mainland species. And adult weighs from 19 to 37 kilometers,、uh, kilograms, compared to this, to the mainland deer, which is 49 to 80 kilograms. Another main difference between the species is that the male Yukushima grew smaller antelopes with only three prongs, while the mainland deer antelopes are five prongs. The deer have a long history. On Yukushima, and I mentioned、uh, in some of the Yukushima myths. Therefore, this is the tree and this Pika deer, they both have become part of the cultural heritage of、uh, Yukushima Island. I'm sorry. No, this is the second series I talked about. I'm sorry, in between, the PowerPoint has come inside by mistake.、Uh, the second World Heritage Series,、uh, number one, this is the first sheet. Like that, 11 sheets were released in 2001. This was released on 23rd February 2000. The sheets were released on different days, but the starting was in 2001, the second series. The first series, you saw the stamps of the first series, now the second series is there. A series of stamps were issued depicting the world heritage of Japan, which are registered according to the UNESCO Convention and the Protection for the World Cultural Natural Heritage or the World Heritage Convention in and after 1994. The first series depicts the shrines and temples of Nikko in 1782. You can see the big stamp,、uh, the picture there of the priest Shodowu. 1735 1879, found the temple,、uh, founded the temple in Nikko. Later in the Edo period, 1600 to 1868, he became the site of Toshagu, a shrine containing the mausoleum of Tokugawa Ieyasu, the founder of the、uh, Tokugawa shogunate, or the first shogun of the Tokugawa shogunate, one of the three unifiers of Japan, with all the warring、uh, that took place in Japan. Now, This stamp was released on 2001, February 23rd, multicolor, and c o m e d to Linda Quarter by 13. And uh, uh, there are 10 sheets,、uh, 10 stamps in this one sheet, all of ATNs printed in photograph. Here. Now, the series of Nikko, I've just enlarged the individual stamps in that, and you can see there are、uh, one set a n t、uh, pair. And then, including that, there are 10 stamps individually, you can see. And out of that, eight are in、uh, individual stamps and one set in a pair. And uh, uh, the stamps, individual stamps, we'll also talk about a little down the line. Nikko is a world famous for a small wood carving on one of the temples to see no evil, hear no evil, see no evil monkeys. That's a very famous、um, in、uh, Nikko. And the colorful peacock wood carving and sleeping cat and sculptures of wind god and god of lightning. You can see them all here in the stamps. Next, if you see the shrines and temples of Nikko, comprise of Toshigo and the Futara san Jinja shrines. The Ninnoji temple and the monuments in its surrounding are included in this particular property under the UNESCO World Heritage Sites in Japan.、Uh, Toshigo is the location of the Enshrinements of、uh, Iyasu Tokugawa, who was the first shogun when the Edo shogunate flourished in the 17th to 19th centuries. More than 1,27 craftsmen were called to help to build the shrine. The Yume Mon Gate, Mon means the entrance of the gate, consists of two stories or 500 sculptures on top of either beautiful or colorful decorations. There are 103 buildings and structures. That were included in the property listing for UNESCO. Of the 103, nine are national treasures of Japan, and other 94 are important cultural properties of Japan. There are 23 structures listed under the Uttara San Shrine. All these sites are registered as important cultural properties in Japan. There are three deities that are enshrined in this area 
Okunishi and uh, Tagorihima, Tagorihime, and uh, Ajitsuka, uh, Ajitsukita, Kita, Ikone, the three goddesses, the gods in that thing. And then the Shinko Bridge, or the Sacred Bridge, is a popular attraction in the area, and it's a part of the Uttara Sun Shrine. Its lacquered structure is one of Japan's most beautiful bridges. Most beautiful bridges. Toshin was named as one of the shrines and temples of Nikko by UNESCO. This is where Ieyasu was shrine. There are several Toshiku shrines in Japan, but the one in Nikko is the most famous one. During the Edo period, there are 500 series shrines that make up the Toshiku shrine. But after some, some of them had been destroyed or abandoned, the total number is now down to 130 Toshiku shrines all over Japan. Uh, this complex consists of 15 Buddhist temples in the city of Nikko. The site was founded by a Buddhist monk in the late 8th century. The temple complex is located deep in the mountains. It is helped for the site to flourish as it attracted other Buddhist monks looking for a place of solitude. The most famous building, the complex is the Tambutsudo, the three Buddha halls. Tambutsudo is the three uh, Buddha halls. Then the Itsukushima Shrine, which was released on 23 March, the last one was in February, this is in March 2001. And then Itsukushima Shrine will have a small introduction. It's a Shinto shrine on the island of Itsukushima, popularly known as Miyajima, best known for the floating tori or the gate. You can see on the stamp sheet, a red uh, gate that is standing in the waters. Okay. And this is uh, approachable from Hiroshima, the city of Hiroshima by a ferry. In the city of uh, Atsukaichi in Hiroshima Prefecture in Japan, accessible from the mainland by a ferry at uh, Miyakajima Station. The shrine complex is listed as the UNESCO World Heritage Site. The island of Itsukushima in the Seto Island Inland Sea has been the holy place of Shintoism. Since the earliest time, the first shrine buildings that were probably erected in the 6th century. The present shrine dates to 12th century and the harmoniously arranged buildings reveal great artistic and technical skill. The shrine plays a contrast in color and from between the mountains and the sea illustrates the Japanese concept of scenic beauty, which combines nature and human creativity. You can see the blue sea the Seto Inland Sea, and then you can see the green mountains and the red temples, and you have the red tori, and the whole temple and the uh, uh, tori or the entrance gate, they are all in the waters because there's a high tide, low tide. You can see sometimes the tori and the, uh, the shrine, they're all just standing on sand, and then when the high tide comes, you know, the almost uh, the tori will get. Uh, up to a certain uh, height according to uh, the high tide of the day, water standing and also up to the platform in the, the thing you will see water and when it is low tide even people can walk in the uh, sea sand and reach the tori, take some pictures of themselves. The property covers 431.2 hectares on the island of Itsushima and a buffer zone of uh, uh, 2, 2,634.3 hectares, including, includes the rest of the island, part of the sea in front of the Itsushima Jinja. The property comprises 17 buildings and three other structures, forming two shrine complexes, the Honsha complex from the main shrine and the Sesha uh, Marodo Jinja complex. The ancillary buildings as well as the uh, forested area around the Mount Misen. The Itsukushima Jinja has a religious significance as a part of its cultural value. It was built in dedication to three daughters of Susano no Mikato, who is the Shinto god of seas and storms. The island itself where the shrine was built was considered a sacred land by the Shinto belief. That's why uh, when you see a tori, it means uh, you are entering into the sacred, sacred land of the gods. That is the entrance between that's where the, the division starts between the Tori. It says beyond that, 
uh, it is a sacred land of the gods, wherever the Tori is there. In fact, commoners were not allowed to set foot in the island in order to maintain the purity of the area. Hence, a pier was built near the shrine in order to allow pilgrims to get close to the shrine. This also is the reason why the iconic red gate known as the Turi was, was built in order to separate land from water and prevent pilgrims from setting foot on the sacred water. Actually, Turi does not float, though it's called as a uh, floating Turi, but it looks like floating during the high tide and during the low tide, people can walk up to the Turi and take their picture. It is believed that the earliest structure of the shrine complex was built in the 6th century, uh, especially in 593 by Sayeki Kuramaka. But nowadays, um, uh, the land is open, the sacred land is also open for commoners to go and uh, uh, worship, go to the shrine and uh, Jinja. So that's how it is. And then the Kyoto shrines of uh, this is released in 2001, June 22nd. Built on AD 794, the model of capitals of ancient China, Kyoto was the imperial capital of Japan from its foundation until the middle of 19th century. As a center of Japanese culture for more than 1,000 years, <laughs> Kyoto illustrates the development of Japanese wooden architecture, particularly religious architecture, and the art of Japanese gardens, which has influenced landscape of gardening world over. You can see this uh, thing, this stamp was released on June 20, 2001 on 22nd. And uh, uh, this is a full sheet that's got, <coughs> you see on the top, you have certain uh, pairs, uh, both uh, vertical, horizontal uh, thing. And then down below, we have uh, six, so totally 10 stamps in this. And we'll see what are those stamps like in the sheets that are coming. <clears throat> the formal imperial capital of Japan was Kyoto, before it moved to Tokyo, where there were 17 different temples, shrines, and buildings in Kyoto area, which are included in the World Heritage property. And that then technically does not include the former imperial palace, which is still owned by, run by the Japanese royal family on the Fushimi Inari shrine. <clears throat> Interesting, Kyoto is a city of temples. Okay. Kamovake Ikazuchi Shrine is one of them. The Shinto sanctuary was founded in the 7th century along the banks of the Kamo River in northern Kyoto. It is one of Japan's oldest Shinto shrines and was built in dedication for the veneration of the Kamovaka Ikazuchi. It is served as an object of imperial patronage during the Heian period. Okay. Kamovaka Ikazuchi Jinja Shrine enshrines the Kamo clan ancestral deity. Kamovake uh, Kaida is, you know, Mikato, uh, means um, uh, Wakai Kaze Uchi, means Enga Thunder, signifying the god of thunder, full of youthful energy. Uh, then the next is uh, Kamomiyo Kamo Shrine. Uh, this uh, is the term of the significant Shinto sanctuary where Shimogomo district of Kyoto. It was built in the 16th century to protect Kyoto from the uh, malign influences. Tsumizudora, the Tsumizudora, uh, a wonder I always appreciate. If I happen to be in Kyoto, I will never miss an opportunity to visit Tsumizudora. Uh, located in eastern Kyoto, it's an independent Buddhist temple. It's also included in the list of finalists of the new seven wonders of the world. The temple was also founded during the early Heian period, just like many other monuments in the list. Over 1,250 years have passed since the foundation of Kiyomizudera of at Mount Atawa. Uh, Kiyomizudera means pure water temple. That's why I said. And uh, one of the peaks of Kyoto's Higashima mountain range is called the Mount Atawa. Stands the temple where it's stamped, to which a large number of visitors come to pay their respects to the Kanon, the deity of great mercy and compassion. The temple's present buildings were constructed in 1633, ordered, built by Tokugawa Iemitsu. There is not a single nail used in the entire structure. 
it takes its name from the waterfall uh, in the complex, which is runs the efficiency. This auto nataki, that means Kyomisu means clear water or pure water. Taki means waterfall. Atawa nataki means from the mount uh, uh, Atawa. The waterfall is coming, which is pure water. The main hall is a large veranda supported by tall pillars that jets out over the hillside. And then uh, from there, people can have an uh, impressive view of Kyoto City. Especially the sunset is beautiful and the four seasons. Kyomizu Dera is very well known for all the four seasons and the pictures from the veranda is very, very famous. Shiji, uh, temple literally means East Temple was founded in the beginning of the Heian period, just after the capital moved to Kyoto in the late 700s. The large temple, together with its new defense sister temple, Saji, West Temple, and flanked to the south entrance of the city and served as a capital guardian temple. Toji Temple is one of the Kyoto's many UNESCO World, World Heritage Sites. Kukujo Nyo Rai, Tahagata, Nyo Rin Kanon, and then uh, Taihatsu Nyo uh, and Toji Temple are shown in the stamps. Then one more next to sheet is uh, Kyoto Shrines. It is the uh, sheet number four in the second series of the World Heritage Stamp. And then this was released on April. 23rd, 2001, or, uh, and you can see the details of the temple, the, the size of the stamps, everything is given here. Again, you have 10 stamps and uh, you have um, certain settlements also in this. Uh, uh, the, the one pair of two pairs of settlement stamps are there. Uh, two, one, one settlement stamp is there. And then the others are individual stamps, though they are together. And uh, the one is a certain stamp that you can see. Over 1,200 years of history, Kyoto is a home to beautiful natural scenery intertwined with the historical buildings and traditional architecture. At the same time, Kyoto is a city of learning and creation with high concentration of cutting edge universities, research institutions, and companies. Kyoto is um, in harmony between centuries of tradition and uh, involving for the Innovating for the future. The monozukri, the manufacturing excellence, has got a lot of uh, contribution from the artisans of Kyoto, known as the Edo Shokunin. There are 17 world heritage sites in Kyoto. Enryaku Temple, Enryakuji Temple is one of them. It is located at Mount Heia. It is a Tendai monastery. Tendai is one sector. Buddhist. It is founded in 788 during the early Heian period. The main hall is called as Kampon Chudo Hall. Kampon Chudo area is the home of eternal light, a small lamp that has been remained that lit over the last 1200 years. The mysterious air in this unbroken tradition, a must see. A monk named Bonke, known for his legendary strength. Is said to have carried the uh, uh, Ninai Hall, uh, is the Saito area, forest area, to Enkoji on his shoulders. Okay. Uh, Daigoji is an important uh, temple in the Shingon sect of uh, Buddhist, uh, Japanese Buddhism and designated world heritage site. Tanboin, former residence of the head priest, the building along with the landscape garden dates to 1598. Toyota Hideo, his famous cherry blossom viewing party was held here. Then in the Shimo Daigo area stands 38 meters tall, five story pagoda, which is Kyoto's oldest verified building. Built in 1951, the pagoda is the only structure to survive the fires that have repeatedly destroyed Daigoji and other uh, over the centuries. The Ninnaji Temple was built in 1888 C and is a world heritage site. It is where Emperor Uda was born and later where he lived as the first chief priest of the temple. Uh, Ninaji is uh, known as a Munzeki temple. Munzeki refers to the Buddhist priests of aristocratic or imperial lineage and those who served the imperial family and the temples which they in which they lived. 
the temple is the head temple of the Umura school of Shingon Buddhism. Ninaji temple has it all. It's executive, uh, the very exquisite five-story pakoda, a massive main gate, a delightful landscape gardens with pond, bridges, and old stones, a red gravel gardens, tea houses, beautiful halls, and prayer and residence. Pyodo Inn is initially built in 1919 as a countryside resident villa of powerful politician Jivarano Pichinaga, not as a temple. Pichinaga son turned Pyodo Inn into a temple and ordered the construction of his most spectacular feature, the Phoenix, Pyodo Hall. The Bosatsu in Japanese means Bodhisattva, and there is a statue of depicting the flying Bodhisattva in clouds. Uh, and the flying Bodhisattva has also been you can, be, you can see flying both is also a number of stamps that were released uh, by the earlier, not the current Okinawa, but by the earlier Rikyu Kingdom. The airmail stamps will show you flying Bodhisattva. Bodhisattva flies, it's uh, pretty well uh, known in Japan, in clouds and called the Uchikyo Kyoyo Bosatsu. And then, in uh, December 2001, on the 21st, this uh, Kyoto World Series was uh, released. Uh, again, uh, the stamp details are given here. Now, if you go into this, the first thing is Ujigami Shrine. It's a Shinto shrine located in Kyoto city of Uji. Originally built as a guardian shrine for the nearby Byodo Inn. Uh, it is quite remarkable on its own right. Uh, intro Chronological studies of the wood have determined that Ujigami Jinja was constructed around the year 1060. Therefore, the older Shinto shrine in existence. Remarkably, it has been avoided destruction, revampment, and replacement for almost a thousand years. For this reason, Ujigami Shrine received UNESCO World Heritage Site status in 1994. It has been classified as one of the historic monuments of ancient Kyoto, which comes so the Ujikami, Ujigami, both are same. Uh, it is the pronunciation with which uh, Ujikami can be pronounced by some as Ujigami or Ujikami. So I am giving both the, I think they're not two different uh, temples. Uh, Ujikami shrine enshrines Emperor Uijin and Nintoku and believe to God Yodin temple, which is also in Uji. The stamp depicts the prayer hall and the main hall. The main hall is the oldest shrine that existed in, existing in Japan. All the buildings in the shrine were built by the end of 14th century. Ujikami shrine or a kairumata, which literally means uh, kairu is a frog. Okay, is a uh, kairumata is a frog crouch. So the thing is like like a frog crouching. Since the characteristics of the Japanese ancient architecture resembles the legs of a frog. Then Kunzaji Temple. The front approach to the temple, originally the fifth issue of the series was planned to come on 22nd November. Or by mistake, the Postal Service Agency, it was postponed to 21st of December. The mistake was that the picture and the stamp was a mirror image of the actual scenery. The announcement to the postman, the date of issue was made only two days prior to the original plan. It cost Oh, it's a big number. He had to print and correct the sheets all over again. Unfortunately, there was a, a Tochigi post office which sold the eight error sheets on the 16th and 17th number. Today, they, they have become a collector's item. Okay. Uh, Saikuji in Hall and Kusanji Temple National Treasure. It is the living place of the Moyu Shoin priest who re established the temple in 13th century. It shows the style of early Kamakura era. Most Garden and Sayoji Temple. The temple was re-established in 1339 by Soseki, the priest. It's a Zen Buddhism temple. More than 120 kinds of moshes cover the site, sorry, which resembles a beautiful carpet. And the temple is famous as the most temple. And uh, Kojukan Gate of Sayoji Temple. The old gates of the most temple garden is that. These are all in the stamps, you can see. The garden of Tenryoji Temple. The temple was established in 1339 by Ashikaga 
Takauji Shogun to pray for Emperor Godaigo. The garden was created by Musobu Soseki, the priest. Then King Kakuji, the golden pavilion of Rokonji Temple. Originally, the golden pavilion was built in 1339 as a villa for Ashikaga Yoshimitsu, the third shogun of Ashikaga Shogunate. After his death, the site was converted into a temple. Then it was burned down by numerous times throughout the history, and including twice during the Onin War, a civil war that destroyed much of Kyoto. Once again, more recently, in 1950, for a set fire by a fanatic mom, the existing Golden Pavilion was built in 1955. Then we have the uh, World Heritage Sites of Kyoto. That's again a second series. 2000, this is starting, the earlier after that was in 2000. This is starting in 2002, uh, February 22nd. And then uh, you can see again, there are uh, 10 stamps in this also. The details of the stamps, the technical details of the site, and the details of what it contains is there. We'll talk about the details down below. Uh, Shisoji Silver Pavilion. Kim Kakuji Silver Pavilion is a Zen temple along the Kyoto Eastern Mountain. Igashiyama, in 1482, Shogun Ashikiga Yoshimisa built his retirement villa on the grounds of today's temple, modeled after Kinkaguji, the Golden Pavilion, his grandfather's retirement villa, at the base of Kyoto Northern Mountain, Kitayama. The village was converted into a Zen temple after Yoshimasa's death in 1490. Uh, Ryoenji Temple and Rock Garden is one of the Kyoto's most famous gardens. So famous, in fact, that the name has become synonymous with Japanese rock gardens worldwide. With the traditional architecture and gardens, Ryoenji is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and I was amazed when I went and saw it. It has 15 stones, white sand, express the world of Zen. It's beautiful, and the origins of the creator of the rock garden are a mystery. But the temple itself was originally built as a villa for the lot of aristocratic Tukudaiji family. It was then passed on to Usakawa Katsumoto, a deputy of the shogun, in 1450, who invited the priest, Ethan Genzo, to transform them into a Zen temple. Then Hungaji Temple. And then Hungaji Temple is um, very interesting in Kyoto. It's, it's near, but there's one east and one. There's two uh, Hungaji temples. Are there. The Hungaji Temple, the preliminary view, is uh, actually remained as Honganji is a collective name of the largest school of Jodo Shinzo Buddhism, which subdivides into Nishi and Igashi branches. So uh, that the East and West branches, they both have their own uh, two temples, one on the Eastern side, one on the Western side in Kyoto. Thatched with cypress and decorated in the ornate Chinese style, the gate is called Karamon or Chinese gate. The Karamon gate of Nishi Honganji designed as a national treasure of Japan. So the Western Gate, the Western Hongaji's Gate. I just shown you the picture that is taken by me. It's uh, it's a beautiful gate. Then in Kaku, the tea pavilion is the large tea pavilion, four no stages, and one of which is brought to be the oldest ex oldest uh, ex in existence, and the other being the largest outdoor no stage. Show in uh, the study hall built in 1636. The dimensions are 62 by 48 meters with a height of 29 meters. A wooden image of uh, Shinran Shonen, the founder of the Jodo Shinsasu teaching, is enshrined in the central altar of this um, hall. Then we have the Nijo Castle. Tokugawa is the, the founder of the Shogunate or the Edo uh, period, ordered all feudal lords in Western Japan to contribute to the construction of the Nijo Castle which was completed during the reign of the Tokugawa Iemitsu in 1626. In the year 1939, Imperial House donated the Nijo Castle to the city of Kyoto, and in 1994, the Nijo Castle gained the recognition as a UNESCO World Heritage Center. The mansion as Ninomaru, Ninomaru Goten Palace. The palace Ninomaru is the archetypical of the Shonin Zukuri architectural style of the Edo period. 
the place is designated national treasure since it is the only surviving example of the fortified fortified palace complex then we have the yuhiruma yuhiruma is the chamber of chamber where the shoguns met the feudal lords the hall has tiled ceiling and heavily decorated wall panels nijo castles ninomaru palace is well known for its wall painting amounting to more than a thousand painting completed in 1626 there are drawings of an eagle and two hawks on the yuhiruma yunnoma fourth grand chamber yuhiruma yunnoma fourth grand chamber this is the most famous screen in the neon maru palace the pine and hawk are part of this beautiful painting the, the stamp shows the pine and hawk then we have the next world heritage series stamp sheet of the second world series in 2002 june 21st and the details are uh, given here nara city is nara city is historical reminds landmarks natural monuments were added to the list of unesco world heritage site on december 1998 these items are listed as historic monuments of ancient nara uh, you can see the first is the todaji the big uh, buddha is there so let's see this todaji todaji is the nara's world heritage site where the great buddha is uh, located nara's cultural heritage closely tied to japanese belief systems of both shinto and buddhism while nara shrines and temples are a part of this course of course it is also centuries of tradition tied this location that mark nara the uh, nara the old heritage site nara city was established not only the unesco required buffer zone around the heritage sites but it is own violation violation created a secondary harmony zone creating a protected environment the great buddha hall todaiji eastern great temple is a buddha temple complex that are once one of the powerful seven great temples located in the city of nara japan though it is originally founded in the year 1738 c todaiji was not open until the year 752 c the great buddha hall daibutsu den has been rebuilt twice after fire the current building was finished in 1709 and uh, although immense it actually 30 percent smaller than it is predecessor though even now it looks huge and big but it is only 30 percent smaller than the predecessor being reduced from 11 to 7 days wide during uh, construction from the due to lack of funds until 1998 the world's largest wooden building and the great southern gate nandai moon the main gate of the temple is one of the landmarks of nara the 25 meters high structure is one of the largest temple gates in japan daibutsu sits on top of a bronze bronze lotus petal pedestal you have seen my the first opening picture that i showed after our uh, regular slide was todaiji both the complex as well as the great buddha sitting on the uh, bronze lotus petal pedestal that is engraved with images of chaka buddha and very bodhisattvas this one of the two statues of great buddha hall at todaiji of the four guardian kings of buddhism this komukuten who eyes are open oh, whose eyes are ever open he protects the western quarter the pagoda was erected in nara period at the encouragement of empress komyo the wife of emperor shomu and it has been destroyed by fire on five occasions but rebuilt each time and you 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 should know that the japanese can definitely bounce back very quickly they have tremendous amount of tenacity anything that's destroyed there are the proverb saying if you fall seven times you will get up at the eight time nanakurabi achiyoki is what they say and you can see their perseverance tenacity 
and rebuilding anything that happens. So even uh, the fires in uh, Tokyo, the 1923 uh, fire, afterwards the uh, fire at uh, Kobe, uh, the earthquake, earthquake uh, Kobe, all that they can come back and even the 2011, uh, the triple disaster, uh, Japan bounced back very quickly. The current 50 meter tall tower was built during the Muromachi period, 1336 to 1573. Then, uh, Kofukuji North Round Hall, this building whose round shape donates its statue of memorial chapel, was originally erected in 1721 to mark the one year anniversary of death of Kofukuji founding patron Fujiwarano Fujito. Then, Kofukuji uh, Ashura, uh, this made of Urushi. Urushi is a lacquer, you know, Urushi is a Japanese lacquer, is called a Urushi. The hall that housed the statue was burned down for more than six times, and each time somebody saved it, the statue. Now it's on the original form. A series of eight statues were created in 734 under the orders of Emperor Komyo. A Kofubuji temple head of Buddha, a bronze Buddha head, natural treasure, created in the Nara period. And although only the head section is currently exists, it's a hallmark of uh, Akuho culture. Some, day, uh, some say it is originally the form of Buddha said of uh, Yamada Dera temple. The dwarf Rokudai uh, Yotoki no Oni, uh, the height is 31 inches, 12-15. Yes. Snake wrapped around his chest. He shown wearing a lantern on his head. This symbolizes the conversion of demos, demons to Buddhism and their acceptance of Buddhist law from a religious exception and culture of Kobo, Koben, one of Onke's sons. You can see the statue there. Yeah. Then 2002, July 23rd, we see the next, uh, this thing, this is the eighth. So totally 11 series are there. And then the historic monuments of ancient Nara bear exceptional witness to the evaluation of Japanese architecture and the art and vividly illustrate the critical period in the cultural and political development of Japan when Nara functioned as its capital from 710 to 784. You can see the stamp details and the, what the stamps show, they are there, the stamp sheet is there. The individual stamps are here. Kasuga Taisha Shrine, Cloister. Kasuga Taisha is, uh, Taisha is a distinguished shrine of 3,000 axillary shrines around the country. Cloisters around nearly all four sides of the central part of Kasuga Taisha shrine. In December 1990, the historic monuments of ancient Nara included Kasuga Taisha and Kasuga Yama Primavera Forest, were designated as joint UNESCO World Heritage Site. Chumon Middlegate is roughly 10 meters tall, two story, standing in front of the main tent. Hangoji Temple. Hangoji Temple was originally found in 588 during the Hansuka period when Buddhism was in infancy in Japan. When the capital moved to Heijo Nara, Heijo uh, in 710, Hokoji followed the suit in 718 and was rebuilt and at great expense and renamed as Hangoji. Kangoji main hall and Zen room. The monk's dormitory was, was remodeled on 13th century to enshrine priest Chikos Mandala, Mandala, which is a designated important cultural property that com comprises the main hall and for the present Kangoji temple and the Zen meditation hall. Kangoji five story pagoda. The five story pagoda surrounded by rare Buddhist statues from India, including cream from the ancient Gandhara. The Yakushi Temple is one of the most famous imperial and ancient Buddhist temples in Japan and one of the seven great temples of Nanto located in Nara. Uh, Yakushi Nyorai, a devotional cult of Yakushi Nyorai medicine Buddha was one of the first to develop in Japan after Buddhism introduction to Japanese archipelago in the mid 6th century. The Yakushi Nyorai, Buddha uh, Baishya Guru, is a national treasure from the Hakko period 645 to 710 and is bronze with 
height of 225 centimeters. Buddha is the Buddha of the healing and lord of the emerald pure land in the east, who has promised to cure illness of the body and mind. And then Taishoji temple, uh, Taisho Dai temple is a Buddhist temple in the Risho sect of the city of uh, Nara in Nara prefecture. The classic golden hall known as the Ondo was originally as a single story, hipped tile roof with a seven bay with white facade. It considered the arch type of classical style and founded in 759 by the Tang dynasty of Chinese monk Rianzen during the Nara period. The Senju Kanon, Thousand Armed God of the Mercy, you can see Thousand Armed God of the Mercy here. Senju, Sen, Sen is Thousand, Senju Kanon is, uh, means uh, Thousand Arms literally. Senju Kanon is considered to be transformed body of Kanon Bodhisattva. Kanon Bodhisattva is one of the Roku Kanon. AG place so, remains, Ajo, Ajo place remains, the excavated remains of the palace and the surroundings area established as the UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1998 as the historic memories of the ancient Nara. Heijo Palace was the imperial residence of Japanese capital city of Heijo Kyo, of today's Nara during the most of Nara's the period. Then we have the uh, ninth sheet, uh, which was released on September 2002. Located in the mountain regions was the cut off from the rest of the world for a long period. These villages and Gosho style houses substituted the cultivation of mulberry trees and raining silkworms. The large houses with their steeply pierced dashed roofs are examples of culture of Chirokawa Go and Okoyama. They are still, uh, especially the nights with their lamps. Uh, inside this uh, house are a beauty to watch. Despite economic upheavals, the village, villages of Ogimachi, Ainokura, Sugunamu, Sugunuma are outstanding examples of traditional way of life, perfectly adapted to the environmental and the environment and people's social economic circumstances. These villages are situated along the shore river of Gifu and in Toyama prefecture. In response to the very harsh climate, geographical and social condition, they have adopted the Gosho style houses. Gosho style means if you see the roof, it is in, uh, the roof look like people folding their hands and praying. So it's called the praying hand. It's a unique uh, form of style. Ogimachi in Shirakawa go in autumn. Uh, Ogimachi is the largest village and main attraction of the Shirakawa go, declared as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1995. Uh, the, the village is home of several dozen well-preserved Gosho Tsukuri farmhouses, some of which are more than 250 years old. Gosho Prefecture is full of mountains, which means lots of trees and especially beautiful Japanese maples, the momoji. The best time to view the fall of foliage is typically early November or early December. Uh, with the mountain at the back, the foliage turning orange, the red Gosho houses stand out as a beautiful piece of art by nature and man's creation in autumn. Uh, Moyozenji, Myozenji uh, Temple at Ogimachi, Shirakawa, a temple with the biggest thatched roof in the village. Somewhere in Ogimachi, during the month of May and October, you are likely to experience good weather with pleasant average temperatures between 20 degrees Celsius and 26 degrees Celsius. And the hottest season in summer takes place in June, uh, July, August, and September. August is the summer month with the average of 280 hours of sunshine. Winter night, Ogimachi, with the snow on rooftops and uh, everywhere giving white carpet view with the lights in the house. The most pictures view is of Ogimachi at that time. Hainokur, Thairamura uh, village, set far back in the valley, Ainokura is the most remote village in the Okoyama region. It is also the largest of the villages with nearly 20 Gosho Zukuri farmhouses. Many of them remain private 
residents, although few of them are converted into President Museum and uh, Pinshaku, Ainokura, Suganuma, and Ogimachi were detached. UNESCO World Heritage Sites in 1995. Yeah. And uh, Doenji and Gosha Zukuri Temple in the preserved Ainokura village is uh, there. The Tsugunuma village in Airamura. Tsugunuma is one of the main attractions of Gokoyama. It's made up of two areas, Tsugunuma village and Gokoyama Gosho of Sub. Uh, pleasant and uh, easy to explore on foot. The two areas are connected to each other by a tunnel, which also connects the parking lot on the hill overlooking the village by an elevator. On the other hand, of the other end of the tunnel, Kokoyama Gosho no Tato has several traditional farmhouses which have been relocated here in order to save them from the destruction. No one lives in them these days. They are instead used by the school groups who can stay overnight in the houses to experience activities of the traditional Gokoyama style. Then we have the 10th uh, thing, which was released on the 12th of uh, to 20th December on 2002. Uh, Okinawa is a home of unique culture that differs cons considerably from the <coughs> mainland Japan. Until the islands were invaded by the Satsuma domain in 1609, Okinawa extended separate, existed separate country from Japan, known as, known as the uh, Rikyu Kingdom. And uh, one, one interesting uh, information is the longest living people are in Okinawa. And uh, when I went to Okinawa, uh, some people, I asked them, what's the secret of your uh, um, people living so long? And the type of food they eat, which has got that uh, bitter guard, uh, which uh, the green bitter guard with the uh, rough exterior. And that is eaten, though it's very bitter, really. The bitter guard is uh, the basic uh, ingredient in the food. That's one of the reasons they say the people live longer there. Uh, those stone lines, uh, Okinawa is known for the stone lines, like uh, what we see uh, the, uh, in the Naga, Nagoya castle on top of that, you, are, you see the golden fish. Like that, the stone lines are very famous in uh, Okinawa, created in the 16th century, uh, God uh, Tamaduan, the tomb of the second Sho dynasty. The two lines stand up upright position. One holds a child, the other playing with a the ball. They were damaged during the Battle of Okinawa in World War II. The productions restored the peculiar, the human. The reproductions restored the peculiar and humorous, humorous expression of the stone line. Stone gate to the Sonoyan Utaki sanctuary. The Sonoyan Utaki stone gate is a stone gate outside the sacred forest of Sonoyan Utaki on the grounds of Shurujo Castle. Shurujo Castle. It was built in 1519 by the third king of second Shou dynasty, Shoshin, 1477 by uh, 1526. It was used as a prayer spot by the king to pray for the safe journey when he left the castle. Ruins of Nakajinjo Castle and the Hikon Cherry Blossom. One of the most popular cherry blossom viewing spots in Okinawa's main island is Nakajin Castle Ruin. The ruins are Motabu Peninsula and northern part of the island. The stone gate of ruins of uh, Sakimiju Castle. Uh, Saki, Sakimi Castle oversaw the northern portion of the central Okinawa Island. The fortress has two inner courts, each with an arched gate. This is Okinawa's first stone arch gate, featuring the unique keystone masonry of Ryukyu. <coughs> ruins of Katsurinjo Castle walls. The Katsurin Castle ruin light top of commanding limestone hill overlooking the seaside nearby Mina, Minamihara fishing boat. It was Tai uh, Taikapushi style castle where the central fortress or the Homaru was separated from the other sections of the castle. And by Kurova enclosures and protected by the surrounding landscape of steep cliffs. Uh, 
uh, ruins of Nakagus, Nakagus Kojo Castle, construction of Nakagus Castle was overseen by legendary commander and castle builder Kosamaru, a loyal servant of King Sho Taiku. Taiku. The castle was built to defend against attacks from the east by Lord Avamari of Asurian Castle, who was ambitious to take control of the throne of the Rikyu kingdoms. Then we have the Kankakimon, the main gate of Shurijo Castle. This is the first gate that leads to the inner castle walls of Shurijo, and Kankai means to welcome. Uh, it was built between 1477 and 1500. The main hall of Shurijo Castle, the City of Naha, Shuri, Shuri is the name of the former capital of Rikyu Kingdom. Shuri Castle served as the administrative center and residence of Rikyu kings for several centuries in 1879. The castle, one of the UNESCO old heritage castles. <coughs> uh, Shinkanen, the Royal Garden. Uh, uh, Shikina, uh, sorry, sorry. Shikina and Royal Garden. Shikina and Gardens are uh, and play palace were constructed at the end of 18th century as a second home for the Okinawan royal family and to entertain important guests. It is along with the other local treasures listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2000. Saifu, Saifutaki Sanctuary, Saifakutaki Sanctuary in Okinawa, Utaki are natural sacred places where people pray. Among them, Saifukutaki was the most sacred place of the Rikyu kingdom. Leaders of the native faith were all women, and uh, access to the site was strictly off limits to men, except for male members of the royal family. Saifuk Saifutaki contains dense forests and rugged rock formations, and is a place where nature itself was worshipped as divine. Uh, Taki means waterfall. So, uh, Saifutaki is Saifu. Saif Pau Taki means Sai Pau Utaki. This is again Taki is waterfall. Then we have the last of the series, the 11th, the 11th sheet, uh, 2003, March 20th. It has uh, been released. Two stamps, atomic bomb job, you can see that. <coughs> and uh, Hiroshima Prefecture Products Exhibition Hall. It is designed by Dan Lenson. Zik architect and completed in 1915. They are designed by Japan Post and uh, rest were results of peace stamped in the competition open to public participation. You can see this is purely the 11th is the atomic uh, dome, the atomic bomb, the only thing that is remaining after the bombing of Hiroshima is here in this. Hiroshima Peace Mem Memorial. <coughs> Yembaku Dome. Hiroshima Peace Memorial was one of the was the only structure left standing in the area where the first atomic bomb exploded on 6 August 1945. Through the efforts of many people, including those in the city of Hiroshima, it has been preserved in the same state as immediately after the bombing. Not only it is a stark and powerful symbol of the most destructive force ever created by humankind, it exposes the hope for world peace and ultimate elimination for nuclear weapons. But today, the scenario all over the world is changing, and uh, Japan is also being challenged by North Korea in the nearby. And description, the Hiroshima Peace Memorial, uh, it has been accepted as UNESCO World Heritage under the license CCBYSA IGO 3.0. The most important meaning of the surveying structure of the Hiroshima Peace Memorial is what symbolizes rather than it's just aesthetic or architectural, architectural value. This silent structure is the skeletal form of surviving remains of the Hiroshima mm -hmm. Prefectural Industrial Promotion Hall, constructed in 1940. It symbolizes the tremendous destructive power which humankind can invent on one hand. On the other hand, it also reminds us the hope for the world's permanent peace. This is what UNESCO has said in their uh, thing about this peace memorial. Then we have the pilgrimage circuit of 88 temples of Shikoku as also as one of the heritage series. And uh, the Shikoku temple uh, pilgrimage has got a 
1,400 kilometers to visit temples related to Pukai, the Buddhist priest. There are many national treasures that are important cultural properties amongst this uh, temple. The road starts in Tokushima, going through Kokuchi and Ehime, and ends there. The origins of the Shikoku 80 pilgrimage temples are the stuff of the legend. It is believed that Gobu Daishi walked the route during his religious training. Emmon Taboro, a wealthy man from Iyo province, traveled the circuit looking for Gobu Daishi, seeking to apologize for refusing to help him. Uh, the names of the temples that are covered are all uh, given below. Uh, this uh, set, the second set is uh, released in 2005, July 8th. Again, uh, 20 stamp. Uh, both sheets, the previous sheet is also 20 stamp. And uh, that was released in 2006, August 1st, and 20 stamp. And then uh, this one, August uh, 1st, 20 stamp, 80 and, and then uh, the first reference to Shikoku pilgrimage appears. In documents from around 12th century, however, specific temples or roads are not mentioned. The present pilgrimage consists of 88 temples. It is thought to have been formed between uh, 16th and 17th century. In the modern age, with the development of roads, more and more people are coming to make pilgrimage, either by car or by bus. In recent years, our number of walking pilgrimages are also on the increase. Go through the 1,400 kilometers. The Shikoku... 1,300 years ago was built in a remote land, parts of which were exclusive domain of monks and their aesthetic training. These aspects of Shikoku are mentioned in the uh, Kujaku Monogatari Shu, the Ryoin Usho anthologies, both completed during the Yan period. Yan period poet Saigyo is recorded to, as having gone to Shikoku on pilgrimage in 1167. However, at that time, 88 sacred sites were not yet been linked to a single circuit and Hendro Road, what they call as Hendro Road, which did not yet exist at that time. These are the other uh, temples. And then, Obudaishi is one of the nation's most influential spiritual and religious figures of the uninitiated. Uh, and he was a monk, calligrapher, poet, the founder of the Shinkon School of Buddhism. After establishing Mount Koya in the final year, Shingon Buddhism is also supposed to be the warrior monk's Buddhism. Uh, Kobudaishi is said to return at times to the Shikoku area, where his teaching and passion for the Shingon school Buddhism inspired the creation of many regions' temples. So that brings us to the end of the presentation on. Uh, Heritage sites of Japan, and we have uh, more to go on heritage uh, sites, uh, which we'll be doing in the next week, which is the 49th uh, theme, and we'll be concluding the 50th with castles of Japan. So, thank you for joining us today, and see you all next week on the Heritage 2 of uh, Japan. And you can see uh, this is again the red building, the red tori of uh, uh, Miyakojima, or uh, Itsukushima, uh, Jinja, and uh, Tori for that. And of course, you can take a boat ride and go from Hiroshima uh, from the pier. Thank you all very much, and hope to see you once again. Wish you all a great 2023. Happy New Year. And uh, like what we say, Japanese, Gambari Masho, this year also, let's try and do our best. Hopefully, God will be with us to help us.